What is going on guys, welcome back to TV and Me. I am Kevin and this is my reaction straight review for Season 1 Episode 2 of The Walking Dead. I'm really looking forward to going back into this show actually because uh, the last show or the last episode or the first episode actually uh, really intrigued me so I'm looking forward to get back into it. Um, so last week or last episode I should say we saw um, Rick, sorry I'm just looking at my notes, uh, we saw Rick wake up in the hospital after being shot. Um, he's got a son called Carl, not Kyle, Carl, and a, a wife called Laurie. Basically, he went back to his house and they weren't there. We later saw in the episode that um, his ex-police partner, uh, Shane, is, I think his name is, he is now taking care of him because obviously he thinks uh, Rick is dead and apparently they're in some sort of relationship now. So like I said, there's probably going to be problems between them in the future. We were also introduced to a character whose name I don't know just yet. I'm pretty sure they didn't say it in the episode. And he had his son called Dwayne. Now, they were both shacked up in a house. Um, I think he went back to the house and didn't go with Rick because he wanted to kill his wife first. Or the zombie version of his wife, I should say. Actually, I should clarify that. The zombie version of his wife. Um, yeah, he wanted to kill her because he felt guilty. But he couldn't do it. So maybe he will stay behind now and he won't go to Atlanta. Or he may even join Rick and go to Atlanta. Or even the refugees could like intercept Dwayne. Because they did say about going onto the motorway and stopping people go going into Atlanta. Because there's a problem in the city. Which I think is just the amount of zombies there. Because, yeah, there were many, many zombies in that city. The zombies didn't stop Rick though. He went into the city. Um, the zombies ate his horse. R.I.P. Horse. And uh, he managed to scramble himself into a tank. And uh, somebody contacted him on the radio because he was trapped. Uh, he'd locked himself in the tank and they contacted him. So no doubt this episode, hopefully we see him get out of the tank. Either by distraction from them people or maybe he'll get into the driving seat. I can't remember which exactly, but uh, yeah. So let's just get straight into the episode. I've been looking forward to this all day. Let's do it. Come on, Team Zombie. No, I mean Team Rick. Damn it, I've got my goddamn it phones. There's gonna be a zombie in the woods. Tra la 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 la. Oh. Right. Where you so, do you think they were having a relationship before this thing happened? That's why it happened so fast between them two. How much time we. Oh, the wedding ring. If that bothers him, then he couldn't have been cheating on his mate. Well, I suppose they've got to repopulate the world, so might as well get started now. Got any advice for me? Yeah, I'd say make a run for it. Forget the bag. Okay, it's not an option. What do you have on you? Hang on. He's got a tank shell right next to him. Can't he sort of <laughs> run outside with that? Shit gets too bad, just detonate it on the floor or something. Oh, he's got a grenade, never mind. Oh. Why didn't he just wait in the tank a little bit longer till nightfall or something? Or at least a day or so. He could have survived a day till they all disappeared again. Can they climb ladders? Nah, they're not that smart. They can open doors, but they can't climb ladders. Nice moves there, Clint Eastwood. You the new sheriff? Come riding in to clean up the town? Wasn't my intention. Yeah, whatever. Yeehaw. You're still a dumbass. <laughs> Rick. Thanks. Get the tank. Why'd you stick your neck out for me? Call it foolish, naive hope that if I'm ever that far up Shit Creek, somebody might do the same for me. I guess I'm an even bigger dumbass than you. It's not a bad idea to be in the city actually during the zombie apocalypse because if you, they can't climb ladders you can just live on the roofs. You could create like a uh, man-made treehouse sort of thing. Holy shit. We've actually got armour. We're pulling the trigger. We're dead. All of us. Because of you. 
Vincent, are you crazy? Huh? Oh, that's the guy out of Guardians of the Galaxy. All the common sense. Man, you waste the bullets. We ain't even got, man. What the hell? Ouch. Someone's smashing my head. Where's Rick? Oh, is this the episode where he gets someone... It might be him that gets handcuffed to the roof then. God, I could have sworn I remembered it being Berthnall's character. Yeah. There we go. So is this episode? you get me out of these cuffs. We go off somewhere and bump some uglies. Gonna die anyway. I'd rather. Oh. Old building like this built in the 20s. Big structures often had drainage tunnels into the sewers in case of flood. Down in the sub-basements. How do you know that? It's my job. Was. I worked in the city's zoning office. Until now, I always came here by myself. In and out. Grab a few things, no problem. First time I bring a group, everything goes to hell. No offense. If I run into something, I have to get out quick. I don't want you all jammed up behind me, get me killed. I'll take one person. Not you either. You've got Merle's gun and I've seen you shoot. I'd feel better if you're out in that store watching those doors covering your ass. Won't be long before they'll be eating those rats for rat burgers or something. I've seen Demolition Man. I know how bad it gets. The red dot means it's ready to fire. You may have occasion to use it. Good to know. Hmm. Make it worth your while. What do you say, man? Come on. So get me out of this thing. He's racist to him, and then he beats him up, and then he expects him to get the hacksaw. Call me. Why the fuck is he in the sewer? Oh my god. He's already started on the rats. My sister. Is she still such a kid in some ways? Unicorns, dragons. She's into all that stuff. But mermaids, they rule. Why not take it? There's a cop staring at me. Would it be considered looting? No. I don't think those rules apply anymore. Do you? I think you get a free pass on pretty much everything as soon as there's on the find down there. Not a way out. Oh, they're gonna cover themselves, aren't they? In the smell of death. I swear they did that in one of the uh, Walking Dead Telltale games as well. He's an organ donor. I don't think this. I suppose your organ donor card sort of. Uh, oh my god. Sort of covers this sort of eventuality. Or is that like his fat? Or is he gonna hang that round his neck? Holes out on the street with a handcuffed keys. Oh, snap. Shane, is that you? Is that them? So they know each other. Ah, oh, so they're working See together. So they must have gone into the city to get supplies. Did I repeat that last? She volunteered to go to help the rest of us. She knew the rest. Oh, that must be that, uh, what's her name? Andrea's She's sister. Trapped. She's gone. She's my sister, you son yeah. of a bitch. So she's the sister that likes dragons. And mermaids. It's a bit cold, but I suppose in that sort of situation you just can't risk it. If you volunteer to go out, that's the end of it. <laughs> Work. Don't talk. Don't draw attention. Stop 
talking. Oh crap, I didn't think about the rain. Oh no. Get into cover. Oh shit. Oh, they can start smelling. But now is the time to run. Run, mother truckers. That was an axe to the noggin. I suppose that's a pretty good bait actually. It's fast and it's noisy. Oh god. Oh sugar. God, what would be worse, being eaten by zombies or dying from thirst? And starvation. Well, I suppose he won't die by zombies now, he's made up his mind for him. Come on, Glenn, do your job. Pull out the back. Woo. There we go. Easy peasy. This guy's a complete arsehole, but still, that's a horrible way to go. Where's Glenn? Oh shit, I forgot about Glenn. <laughs> Just him coming a mile off, that's where Glenn is. going out in style. Come on, Glenn. I like Glenn. We can have a lot of fun. Oh, that's the end. Damn it. So there we have it, the end of episode two. And uh, that episode was actually surprisingly short. Um, episode 1 was over an hour long and I didn't realise this one was only 40 minutes so I'm not sure if like the rest of the season is only 40 minutes or they'll do the Game of Thrones thing where the episode length varies which I guess is what they'll do depending on what's going on in the story because thinking about it not a lot actually did happen this episode I think this was more of an introductory episode again where it's introducing us to characters in the world um, we did get introduced to quite a lot um, I've got them written down here we had Dale which was the old man at the refugee camp where um, Shane is uh, his ex-partner. We also had Glenn, which was the uh, young guy that was helping Rick, who was on the radio to Rick and kept calling him a dumbass, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, he basically helped Rick get the um, other guys out of the city who are actually working with the other refugees that are in the other camp where Shane is. So they are working together. I didn't realise that at the time, but it was revealed they were working together. We had Andrea, who was the blonde lady. She is sisters with one of the other women in the camp. I'm not sure of her name yet. Uh, we had T-Dog, which was the guy that dropped... What a time to drop the key. He dropped the key down the drain to the handcuffs, which left... Uh, what was his name? Dixon. Mind you, they called him Dixon, and they called him Merle in this episode. So, I'm not sure if that's his whole name, like Merle Dixon, or whether Dixon is a nickname, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, he got called by both names, and he's been left handcuffed to the roof, which I don't see it going well for him. Even if he does escape, um, T-Dog locked the door behind him so he'll be stuck on the roof anyway so I don't think it's going to end well for him he's probably going to starve to death and we might not see him again I'm not 100% sure because I cannot remember all I remember from this episode is um, like I say someone getting stuck on the roof and um, apparently it was him even though I thought it was uh, Berthnall's character Shane but uh, it turns out to be him uh, and we also had Jackie which was the other lady there was also another guy there as well but uh, I didn't hear his name at any point during the episode so I'm not 100% sure what his name is but I'm sure I'll learn it further down the line. So yeah like I say this episode was all about um, getting Rick out the tank and then him joining up with those refugees and then them heading towards the other camp where Shane is uh, which is where they're heading now and uh, it got me wondering whether Shane will reveal to Rick that he is with his wife now or whether they'll try and keep that secret and it will be a story development later on in the season. Uh, which I'm guessing is what they'll do to build dramatic tension, like they'll uh, eke it out a bit, so um, that story lasts a bit longer. But um, 
I'm sure the shit is going to hit the fan at one point. Although, um, the blonde lady, what was her name? Andrea. She did show some sort of connection with Rick in the mall. So I'm wondering whether there may be a romantic, romantic relationship between those two at some point. Which I think is a possibility. Say he finds out about his wife was with Shane. And then he just like agrees that he doesn't want to be with her anymore. And he hooks up with Andrea. Maybe Shane will hook up with... Uh, what's the name? Laurie. Maybe those two were hook up together. So, yeah, but no doubt there'll be some uh, fireworks when he does eventually find out. So I have to say at the minute, like, my two favourite characters, even though <laughs> we're only two episodes in, and uh, you can't really judge, or I should say, I'm not really invested in the characters as much as I would like to be. Um, that usually comes later on in the seasons, or later on in this season. But uh, at the moment, just based on first appearances and uh, personalities my two favorite characters are glenn because uh, he cracked me up in a few sequences he's quite funny and uh, i like rick of course because he is the main protagonist and i'm sure it meant to like him but yeah glenn apart from rick glenn is probably a close second i really like glenn but yeah that was it not a lot happened in this episode like i say just a character piece just introducing us to new people and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next episode. Uh, hopefully we get a bit more story, see where they're heading as a group, see what their plan is. Um, and it'll be good to see Rick reintroduced to his family. I think that's going to be emotional. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the views. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the comments. And uh, until next time, cannot wait for the next episode. So until then, bye-bye.